This video is about two different tiger beetle species. The largest tiger beetles in the United States are in the genus Amblichyla, and the one in the video here is Amblichyla cylindriformis. It's known as the Great Plains tiger beetle. These videos are about 10 years old now. I'm piecing three of them together for your viewing pleasure. And this one, this beetle, was fed one of the Jamaican house crickets. Those were in the hobby about 10 years ago, very briefly after a bunch of crickets died off in captivity and at the cricket farms, and they briefly had to replace them with these big beasts of crickets that <laughs> ended up eating a lot of the reptiles and pet bugs that people were feeding them to. Um, I really loved the crickets, and I missed them because they were, they were more like pets than they were like feeders. In this next video clip here, we see the same Great Plains tiger beetle species devouring a smaller cricket. I collected these tiger beetles out in the Great Plains, actually out in southern South Dakota. And they're flightless. Their wing covers are fused, and so they don't open, and there are actually no wings beneath them. And the reason that I know that is because I've seen them a few times with holes in them, maybe predators, various kinds of rodents, have attacked them, and there's a little hole in those elytra, those reddish wing covers. And you can see that there are no flying wings beneath them. And unlike many other tiger beetles, including the ones in the next clip here, these ones are nocturnal. This is also a nocturnal species, but you'll see them during the day a little bit too. They are flight capable. This used to be called Megacephala carolina, but sometime after I collected these specimens in Arizona, around a street light one evening, it had rained, and they were swarming underneath this street light, feeding on other insects that had been attracted to the light. They changed the name, the genus, from Megacephala to Tetrarcha. Tetracha? Anyway, they're one of the most beautiful species of all tiger beetles. Um, they're sort of a metallic gold and reddish and green combination. Sort of depends on the light. I apologize for the video quality here. You can see that I just shook some fruit flies in with them and they're really going to town on those fruit flies, just hunting them like crazy. Very active beetles. Tiger beetles are always very active. They make interesting specimens for observation for that reason, although they aren't typically long-lived if they're the diurnal species. These ones live a little bit longer since they're more nocturnal than diurnal. And then the ones, in you saw, the ones that you saw in the previous two video clips, the Amblichyla, I think there are five species of them now in the United States. Those ones are very long lived. You get a couple of years out of them. It's not uncommon to have them live that long. But the activity level, levels of tiger beetles are pretty extraordinary as pet bugs go. And as you can see them here hunting they will cannibalize a little bit, usually just preying on the weaker individuals in a colony tank.